Hi guys, I'm back. I know I've been away from YouTube for a little while, but I guess as you can tell from the title of this video, I've been in a sort of creative slump with making content. That's why I wanted to make this video. So these days, because of like midterm season, things getting busier in general, I felt really uninspired and not motivated to produce like any sort of content. I'm sure a lot of you have probably felt this way before too. So that's why I wanted to make a list of five more specific things that will get me motivated again. I know that for me, I like to watch people talk about what makes them happy and just give out really specific things that they like to do. While these motivational quotes like never give up or just keep going, like these are really like encouraging, but I always found it more helpful if I just watch someone who's like truly passionate about what they're doing talk. Hopefully I can kind of do that in this video. Hopefully it'll help at least like one person out there. Let's just get into it, I guess. So the first thing that I decided to do was to buy something for not me, but my loved ones. I wanted to surprise my family by buying them something that I noticed that they needed. I got this laptop stand for my sister, these mooncake molds for my mom. So cool, I don't buy and these running socks for my dad who has been really loving to exercise in the morning. It's a little bit materialistic but I think giving back to other people around you rather than shopping for yourself that really gives me a greater sense of joy. I also wanted to gift something to my friend who I was going to spend the day with but unfortunately the cake that I made it didn't turn out very good so we just spent some quality time together which is really nice too since quality time is also one of the five love languages. If maybe you don't have the resources to buy something for your loved Ones, maybe just spending time with them or reaching out that always makes you feel much better inside as well and the second thing that I did was really just get engrossed in a book I know I'm going to enjoy for some people this might be like TV shows or maybe movies but for me I just really enjoy the feeling of getting into a novel escaping from the world a little bit but also seeing how I relate to the characters and the plot one of my favorite authors is Haruki Murakami I think I've pretty much read all of the books he has out that have English translation. So I just decided to reread a bunch of my favorite. In case any of you guys are interested, I really recommend um, Colorless, Tsukuru Tazaki, Kafka on the Shore, and Norwegian Wood. I think there's just something comforting about experiencing a familiar story. And also when you watch or you read some of your favorite media over again, you see like new things that you haven't noticed before. It just kind of brings me back to childhood again, even if it's just for like the 30 minutes. Number three, really enjoy physical exercise again. If you've been on my channel for a bit, you probably know that physical activity is a big part of my life. I love doing like home workouts, I love running and dancing. While I do love following Lily Savory's workouts and getting a sweat on, sometimes it's just really nice to have something unstructured. So lately I've been skateboarding or just taking walks, maybe listening to music or a podcast. So I think when an activity isn't so structured, like I'm not thinking when is this set gonna be over, that's when I can really get into the activity and I'll truly feel like super good at the end. Even if it's like I didn't get that much of a sweat or I wasn't like as out of breath, it really just helps clear my head. Not everyone likes to exercise, but just spending some quality time with yourself without any pressure. Like don't be thinking about, oh, I haven't done this, this, this and getting stressed about it. Just kind of like enjoy being in the moment with yourself. So the fourth thing that I did was bake something. As you also might know, on my channel, there's a lot of content about food and making food. I just found that baking is a very therapeutic way of relieving stress. Also, you end up with something delicious at the end. So here I'm making this apple cake that I was kind of just freestyling. In the end, it turned out a little bit flat, but the taste was pretty good. My family enjoyed it pretty much the same. So baking really helps me do something with my hands, just focus on reading the recipe or doing random ingredients like I've been doing for this one. For other people, it could be like knitting, playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> kind of low effort activities, but 
also mildly creative. There's really no pressure for me to bake. I'm not a professional. I know that my family's gonna eat my recipes, like even if they may not look the best. And lastly, I'm sure you've heard of this tip from so many other people, but I've only just recently started journaling again. Before, I kind of looked down on journaling because I found it a bit childish, like I was writing in my diary about my crush but there's really no pressure to write about anything. You don't have to use correct grammar or punctuation. You don't have to make it flow in a linear way. It really helps you sort out your thoughts and think about them one by one. Sometimes when I have bad anxiety at night, I would just try to write down everything that I'm thinking. And because your writing speed is so much slower than your brain, you gradually get to see like what I was worrying about wasn't such a big deal. Without me intending to make it into a story, I kind of just reach a conclusion by the time I'm at the end of the page, it's made me think clearer about what to do next. Even if you think you've had a pretty good day, it's still really fun to just note that down. I personally don't really like reading back my entries, but I think it could be helpful if you look back and you're like, oh, on this day, I accomplished this and this. Like on this day, I was feeling really stressed out, but in the end, I was able to find some sort of conclusion. And that's kind of all the things that I did to try to get my creativity back on. Obviously making this video helped a lot too, just talking it out right here with you guys. If you guys have any ideas for me about where else I can take my channel, honestly I don't think I have the best ideas sometimes so just let me know. I'm really happy to finally get something out again even if school has been really busy. I know that I like to watch people talk about something they're passionate about. It just gets me like really excited and motivated to find my own passion again. So hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.